In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use one of the best Minecraft mods out there, Flashback. I've broken everything down into five simple categories to make it easy for you. So let's go ahead and start with category one. To move around the player, you'll use your basic Minecraft keybinds for walking and flying. And left click and hold the screen to look around. But before moving on, let's talk about the scroll wheel. Scrolling forward or backward changes your movement speed, letting you move faster or slower depending on the shot you want. Once you know how to move the player, you'll need to learn how to navigate the timeline. You can press play or drag the marker to the point in the recording you want. You also see buttons to speed up or slow down the timeline here. In the top right corner, you'll see the player list button. This button lets you teleport to different players on the server. And also, you can use control and scroll wheel to zoom in and out of the timeline. Now for the fun part, keyframes. But before we do that, you'll need to understand the add element button. This lets you insert things like camera, where your camera will be, FOV, and speed. Here's how it works. Set your punch in and punch out points. This is where your final video will start and stop. Add a keyframe by clicking the button, move to a new spot, scroll along the timeline, and add another keyframe. If you want to edit a keyframe, just right click it. The camera will then smoothly transition from one position to the other. This works the same way for speed and FOV changes. On the side, you'll find tabs like GUI, which controls what part of the interface is shown. World, which toggles elements like blocks or entities on and off. Overrides, which change things like fog, FOV, or time. And Other, which you can enable the role of thirds, center guide, or camera path previews. There's also the Render filter, which lets you hide specific entities or particles you don't want in your footage. Just click the ones you don't want off. Finally, when you're ready to export, you have two options. Export directly, or add clips to the queue, then export them all at once later. But now that you know how to use flashback, you might want to learn how to make your cinematic shots look so good that viewers can't look away. That video will be up here in the corner.